So now I'm going to come to the second part of the Lemonrama Coffee to Go tutorial. Okay, let's start and do the fixtures, lightning, and finishing the scene. Open the file. First, I want to build the room. Add a plane to build the floor. Position cap here. Okay, let's floor. Duplicate it. Position above. Duplicate it again. Rotate Y at 90 degrees. Here it is. Duplicating again. Rotating to 90 degrees. And again. Position the camera in front of the wall and look behind. Lock camera to view to navigate the camera easily. Okay, perfect. Duplicate this plane <coughs> again below and add edge loops to make the window. Here one and here one. Going to face the light node and delete the face. Nice. I'm going back to wireframe mode. Select the whole box. And move it to layer 2. Pressing M, 2 and enter. Okay. Okay, going to top view. Uh, first, start this thing. I was clicking the window and selecting UV image editor. Mark this and this. Control E. Mark scene. Select all, pressing U, and unwrap. Export this UV layout. I'm pressing UVs, and at the top, export UV layout. Copy UV, and export. Okay, open the Photoshop. And open the UV layout. Okay, I have selected two colors. The dark brown for the font and the light brown for the background. Fill it. And with the dark brown, light coffee. Like this on the picture. And rotate it and position it. Like this. It needs a bit of time and we'll see it later. Okay, it's done. Save it. Copy UV, JPEG, and going back to Blender. Adding a new material. And 
here at the color selecting image texture and open. Here it is. Okay, I said wrong. It's this material mode and you can see it. Going here at the vector, UV. Go in the camera view and rotate the cup. Perfect. Make a new material for the border. Okay, that's finished. Okay, let us now add the material for the cardboard holder. Press U, cylinder projection, and in the UV image editor, UVs, pack islands. Now add a new material, an image texture, and open it. I have here the cardboard material, and you see it's adding here, but it's looking stretchy and not fine. Scale it here in the UV image editor on the x axis. And you can see at the left side it's looking very nice. That's all. The cap is very easy. Only add a diffuse white material. That's all. Let's save it. Let's go to the second layer and move all in the first layer. And for moving in one of the first layer. I see here is a lamp grease the wheel. I'm selecting the floor and move it here to add the material. Add some subdivides. That's enough. And add the material. Unwrap from view. All textures I've downloaded from cgtextures.com, but I'm sending you the link under the video in the information box. Yeah, that's second fine. Move it back to the box. I'm on the camera view and merge these two windows to one. In here, in the object data from the camera, I'm setting the alpha to one to make all this dark and I see only what's in our viewport. Okay. I'm adding now the emission lamp. And adding a material. That's our sun. We are need emission. And the color.
and the strength set it to 10.0. Look if it's at the window. Yeah, nice. Before we render it, go into the ambient occlusion and select in here a color too. It's slightly yellow and brown. And set the strength to 0.8. Let's render. Yeah, looking nice. Save it. Now we, uh, we are need to add a material to the wall in the background. Nice. Click again, log camera to view. We select it and select the camera and check if the camera rotation is correct. Yes, it is. With the cup. The rest are a bit too small when we resize it and rotate the camera a bit. The cap. Okay, save again and add now depth of field to have light, noisy background. Here in the object data of the camera, select limits and here you can see the yellow cross. Move it slightly and now see. And now back to render. Play with it if it's good enough for you. The size of 0 0.03. Yeah, it's nice, but the background is too red. Yes, that's looking fine. Go to the integrator and go and render to 200. Let's render it. That's the finished result. It's not similar to this, but it's my very first tutorial. You can play with the camera set. And I hope you like it. Bye-bye.